Hey everybody, happy happy Thursday. Um, for us in our school district, it is our last day of school. Finally, finally it's summer break. And so it was a fun morning to send the kids off to school. I've got my last few hours of freedom before uh, before they come home and then I have them every single day until school starts again. So I was out in our backyard and I, I didn't get all dolled up like I normally don't because you know what I work from home I'm a stay at home mom and so this is what I look like most of the time but um I was in our backyard I'm super excited because we we bought our kids this like cool I don't know above ground pool you got to work with what you got right we have a tiny backyard and of course I wish we had this oasis and awesome built underground pool but we don't and I'm super excited though to um go swimming when the kids get home but hey everybody jumping on um Thank you, baby. I always wait to see if the audio is good because I'm super self-conscious about it. But I had a really awesome mommy moment. Um, I think we have a lot of those, obviously, um, getting to be moms. And this morning when I was sending the kids off to of school and taking their pictures and then doing the side-by-sides, um, and you, you know, that's always fun, looking at the growth. Like, oh, oh my God, of anybody's kids, of like first day to last day. Um, and I literally, I, I, I teared up with Mason's because it's just been, um, being a mommy makes you just appreciate people so much more and um, and value our, our quirks and our uniqueness, right? And um, some things that are so easy for um, what you think most people, it uh, it's a struggle for, for other kids and so, or for other people in life. And so I titled this, um, I have to even relook at it on my notes, that if overthinking situations burn calories, I'd be dead. Brian sent me that graphic yesterday. It was pretty funny because it's kind of accurate with, um, with me. And I do, I like, you know, I, I we get stuck in that, like uh, we call it thinking or analyzing or whatever. And we worry stuff just to death. Right. Um, my theme last year for 2017 was to be a warrior and not a worrier because I, I, I worry. And um, so today, like my Thursday theme has been think, act, thrive for quite a while because so many of us get caught in that think zone, right? And we all have these opinions, and but then there's no action behind that. And then you don't want to reap the benefits of thriving from that. And so, um, you know, I just want to, before I tell the story about Mason, just say, you know, a lot of us know a lot, right? But knowledge is not power. Like that commercial that used to be like when we were students in school, like knowledge is power. No, knowledge is powerless unless you put it to action. So um, you wait for everything to be perfect. You just miss out on a lot of thriving. Um, hey, Mary, I miss you. And we need we need to talk. But so I won't look at the comments right now because I want to get to the story. I promise I'm probably going to cry because um, I'm just so proud of both of my babies, of course. But let me just tell you, Mason, a year ago, and the struggles that we've had for the past few years, I've shared on social media, it's no secret, he's been in speech therapy for three years, um, occupational therapy for two years, like I said, all of our kids have quirks, and we've um, been fortunate enough to have help with his articulation issues, his gross motor skills, fine motor skills, but um, let me just kind of like lay that out in a simple form of, I mean, his list goes on, just like all of our list of quirks would go on and on, but um the things he struggled with really elevated his anxiety level because he just always felt defeated. He couldn't pick up a pencil. He couldn't, he, he couldn't, um, for sure form, form any letters, no matter how much I worked with him, no matter how much he worked in preschool, occupational therapy, his grip, you know, if you can't hold something right, how can you, um, maneuver it right? And so he had no interest in, in any type of, um, arts and crafts, anything that where you, you know, with a fine motor where it was hard to, y'all can't see my hands, but do things with, with your hands because it was just like a bull going into it, trying to pick, you know, use tweezers basically. And so he started up the school year, um, not excited. He showed zero excitement for kindergarten and, um, because he felt very defeated before it even began. And he used to, he's very transparent when he would be nervous, he would hide. And, and many of you on have seen him, like he will duck behind something, go underneath something. And it's like, you know, it kind of becomes normal when you're around it all the time. But then, oh my goodness, I have to take my baby and put him in this normal situation, this average situation with other students. And um, I'm not there to protect him when he goes to hide under the table and, and he's doing it because he doesn't want to stand out, but yet makes himself stand out even more. And it just breaks your heart as a mommy because you don't want to see your baby stand out in that way um but they have to learn on their own and so a year ago at pre-k graduation i didn't know if he was even going to go across the stage um he wouldn't put the cap and gown on it was he didn't want to look different 
And so by not putting it on, he made himself more different. That was a whole situation. And um, he thinks that nobody knows, like, this is our secret. This is our secret to each other. Like when he's nervous, he'll flash these at me all the time. He shoots them at me and down the stairs and like Spider-Man. And um, so he's up on stage literally at pre-K graduation the whole time. Just like, I mean, sending those secret messages to me because that's how he was coping with that. Um, fast forward, we go through the summer. He's no excitement for kindergarten. He's in tears when we leave him saying, can we please just start tomorrow? You already got a two week break with Hurricane Harvey, right? Um, so it's like, you already missed out on two weeks, guy. You gotta, gotta get your mind right. Um, as much as we build him up, he, we still had to put him in that situation that was hard for him. He didn't love it at first. And so in the title with this, I also included, hi, my name is blank and I can blank. And I was just going to reshare this. Honestly, um, it was a blog that I did. I've done like four blogs in my life. And it was like the first blog that I did, Mason, this is the very beginning of the school year. Mason gets off the bus, just slumped. I said, how was your day, baby? And he says, terrible. And, you know, kids are dramatic. I hear a lot of times it's the best day ever, best day ever, um, which is awesome, better than worst day ever. And, and so, you know, they're on one end or the other. And so I'm like, okay. So there was a note in his folder and he had refused to do uh, an assignment. And I was just like, oh my goodness, being defiant, you know, we have to address this. But I let him tell me his side of the story. And um, some of you, you may remember, and I could share that blog too, because it was a really great story. But basically they, they were singing some song and it was like, I can bend my body. I can whatever. Like they were just moving around and having fun. So after that, they were to sit down and write a story. So my baby that can't, can't write, um, can't draw they had to draw a story write it it's really hard in kindergarten think about that you don't know how to spell anything or write and you're supposed to write this story that's pretty intimidating right it seems like a, a mountain to me but um he had a blank page she he's miss grant miss grantham i'm just gonna say her name i love her to death uh thank god she taught my babies both of them in kindergarten and, and i i asked her like the situation and she had said well what do you like to do mason he said i like to build legos and she said well do that draw that draw that story write that story and he didn't he just didn't do it um and so when he gets off the bus and i and i get all the details of it and i said you can't just not do an assignment that's not what school's about you know you got to follow the rules and he just burst into tears and said i i can't do that i can't i can't spell legos i can't draw legos how am i supposed to write a story and it just it broke my heart because it wasn't that he was being lazy or anything like that. He just felt so defeated. And um, so fast forward through the year, right? It's like a one big mountain to him. Oh my God, I don't want to go to school. And I talk about the Kaizen method quite a bit. Don't focus on the end. And for him, that's finishing kindergarten. You know, it's day by day, it's chunks. Celebrate the small successes along the way. And just all throughout the year, I see his confidence rise and rise and grow. And um, they did this standardized testing, national standardized testing to kind of like a cognitive abilities test. And he came home with the scores in a sealed envelope, and he and he scored higher than 99% of all America, all U.S. students that were in his age range. He was like 5.9 when he took it, and I was like, "Oh my God!" I emailed Miss Grantham and said, um, "Are you sure that these are Mason's results? Because he just, I mean, 99% of all U.S. students he tested better than in the 5.9 range." I'm like, "Oh my God!" And from that, he has no idea what a cognitive abilities test is. He doesn't even know that any other students outside of his classroom took this test. He just knows he did really well. And that belief in himself got shined for the rest of the year. And he was so capable. And so my baby boy that went from hiding under the desk on the first day of school was on stage dancing and singing with the rest of the kids, not hiding. And I knew I was going to cry because it's just amazing what we're capable of when we believe in ourselves and um so that's why like us moms are such saps because we really recognize the successes that matter along the way and not comparing ourselves to others because who cares it doesn't matter so you compare that first day to the last day or the journey along the way and um don't get stuck in that that thinking zone but um yeah i just in one post i couldn't capture that how much that meant to me that when he's up there dancing and singing like the rest of the kids and everybody thinks it's cute and we're all videoing and stuff but it's like god every single kid up there matters every single one of them have a different journey and it's like each parent's having just all these different i don't know memories along the way of like wow 
my baby's graduating kindergarten, you know, everything is just so significant. I just love being a mommy. I just love living life with them. And so, um, oh my God. So I have a few, I keep like everything. I'm one of those, um, one of those moms. I couldn't find that assignment. I totally have it. And I, I filed it away, but I just want to show you my baby who couldn't, who couldn't at the beginning of the year, he colored this for me. This was around Christmas time. He colored that for me. Um, it's beautiful. It gets beautiful. He wrote a story. I mean, like, and, and uh, I, I don't care. It's, it's just amazing to me. This was like in April. So he wrote a story and this is a picture of something about him and Mia and he's got backwards numbers and the spacing and all this kind of stuff that I don't care about. But he'd sit and read me the story and have a full journal of stories. There were so many months he had blank, blank writing journals. And I'm like, what are you doing all day? <laughs> blank journals. But he just wouldn't, he wouldn't even try. He traced this. I mean, look how good that is. Look how good that is. And so I, I'm showing this because like so many of us don't see the grayness in ourselves. And they might not have a mommy that's documenting their tra their progress. He drew this from a YouTube video. It's an eagle head, if you can't tell, because it's the best eagle head I've ever seen in my life. He watched a YouTube video and followed instructions and did that. It's just amazing. I totally went in his drawers in his room and dug the stuff out before this. And a pizza, a 3D pizza. It's three dimensional, you guys. It just, you could do anything when you surround yourself with the right energy, when you feed your mind the right things. And, um, you know, I always hashtag bloom. I hashtag enjoy the journey, but I, to my core, that is who I am to just embrace everything if you feel like you're failing you're not take that and learn from it run with it and um i'm gonna end it with this i, I pulled this from my blog actually um that sounds weird to say because like i said i have like four entries but i said hope can spark a new path in our lives you know and side note when we, when we don't have hope it's just a really lonely um almost dead place to be and I love, I love sharing hope. I love spreading joy. You never know that one smile that you give somebody, that hug, that good job, or whatever it is. You have no idea what direction that can take. If we're just a little bit greater every single day, think about how beautiful this world could be. So that's my little side note on that, my little tangent on that. So I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to go finish in the backyard with the pool because I'm really excited. Um, hope can spark a new path in our lives. And that turns into an explosion of significance. But the flame needs to be nurtured or it's lost. And so grow yourself. Surround yourself with people that matter. Follow people that are doing things that you want to do or you want to be. Don't stay in that mediocre land. There are no average Joes, you guys. There's a lot of average and mediocre thinking. And that's capped. But our potential is unlimited. Everybody's. God made everybody amazing, unique, and beautiful. He didn't make mediocre. So um, bloom, grow, and blossom, and that's it. I, um, I'm back. I'm back at doing these. And so if I'm on in mommy mode all the time and not perfect my audio and blah, 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 I'm not going to overthink it. I'm going to think, act, thrive, and just watch me grow. I hope you grow with me. Bye, guys. Have a good day.